Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at a prepaid adjustment or a prepaid exercise that's going to illustrate the concept of prepaid assets or prepaid insurance. Let's go ahead to take a look at this problem to see how we solve a problem like this. So the question is, what is the total amount of insurance paid by Adam Company during year two? Now this exercise initially looks very intimidating but once we break it down into various pieces you will see as long as you understand the basics you should be good to go on the CPA exam so let's look at the problem Adams accounting system debit all insurance to prepaid simply put we have a prepaid account I'm gonna abbreviate it as PP prepaid for interim financial reports Adam adjusts monthly estimated charges to insurance expense with a credit to insurance to, to a credit with credits to prepaid insurance. Simply put, when we need to adjust our financial statements, what's going to happen is this. We are going to credit, we're, gonna, we're going to credit prepaid insurance, and obviously the prepaid insurance becomes insurance expense. It expires. Additional information for the year ended December 31st, year two, is as follow. So here they're giving you a bunch of information and they're asking you how much did Adam purchase in insurance during year two? Okay, let's take a look at what we have. Prepaid insurance at December 31st, year one. So this is at the end of year one, which is the beginning of year two. Simply put, the beginning balance is 100,000. Charges to insurance expense during year two is 430. It means we reduce prepaid by 430,000. If we reduced it, if we credited prepaid, it means it went to insurance expense. We expensed this amount and this included the year-end adjustment that's fine prepaid insurance at december 31st year two is 120 and basically we end up the account the year with 120,000. and the question is what was the total amount of insurance premium paid remember every time we buy insurance we debit prepaid insurance so simply put what what the question is asking us is what was the amount that we purchased here because think about it if you have 100,000 of prepaid and you credit it for 30 you must have have purchased some amount so simply put this becomes a simple financial financial accounting 101 equation which is the beginning balance of 100,000 plus what you purchase minus what you used should equal to your ending 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 prepaid insurance so simply put so here's what we're looking at 100,000 plus X which is we don't know minus 430 equal to 120 now solve for X now if we solve for X X should be 450,000 so the answer should be 450,000 and you could always confirm this you can take 100,000 plus 450 minus 430 should give us 120 and this is how we know how much we pre how much we paid for insurance now what should you do how should you learn these adjustments go to farhatlectures.com where i have additional questions plus additional illustration that's going to show you how to approach problems on the cpa exam now, now on the exam itself you could have a b c d and you could have four answers and the answer will be there or I can, I can turn this exercise into an intimidating um, simulation by rather than telling you prepaid was 100,000, I can show you, for example, the journal entries. I can show you the general ledger for prepaid and showing you it's 100,000. Uh, charges to insurance expense 430, I don't give you this information. I'll either give you the journal entry or I'll give you the general journal, a copy of it. Uh, or I could also tell you the prepaid insurance. I can give you everything in a form of a journal or a general journal for the prepaid insurance and you'll have to figure things out or you could be given this information as clean as in this exercise. Regardless, once you understand how to approach a prepaid asset problem, they all work the same way. Now this prepaid could be prepaid rent. This prepaid could be supplies. So supplies is a form of prepaid. This prepaid could be prepaid insurance, prepaid interest. Any All prepaid work the same way. I hope this is helpful. Good luck, study hard, visit farhatlectures.com for additional material and stay safe.